Hey everybody, welcome back to my 30 Days to Die series. So it is the morning of day 24, just about to break sunlight. I snuck over to the water tower last night because we were overheated and we were really, really thirsty. So I had to get the uh, water for sure. And now our, our thirst has gone away. So we got managed to make the yucca juice that we were planning on making, which is great. Um, let's have a look at our uh, character here real quick. So yeah, we are overheating. We managed to find the flannel shirt. Uh, it gives a couple of heat resists. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make a couple of things here today. I'm going to grab our plant fibers and we're going to make uh, plant fiber pants, plant fiber shoes, and the hat's not going to give us much. Uh, plant fiber gloves. Get those going. It's not going to give us much, but something is better than nothing. And I'm hoping that like we've left enough stuff here to um, that if we die again, at least we'll have something to start with, which is good. Um, okay, so it's time to go. We're going to leave the jar here. We've got three y y yucca juice and we've got some bacon and eggs. I made a bandage last night to get our maximum health back up, so it's, it's climbing. Got enough here to make some more arrows, so I think we're going to just head home, or at least attempt to make it home. Uh, I should leave a frame here, just so we have it. Um, don't know if I want to go full speed, but we'll definitely be sprinting slightly here and there. I'm more worried about the cold biome than anything, because we're gonna—it's gonna get cold real fast up there. We'll loot a couple things as we go. I should probably punch Yucca here as we're going as well, uh, just because it's free and it's here. As long as it doesn't slow us down too much. Whoa! <laughs> I saw it right at the last second. I was like, is that a bird's nest? <laughs> nope. It was not a bird's nest. Oh. Let's go get our stuff. My God, at least it wasn't too far. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I'm laughing, but that's absolutely hilarious. I have to say that was hilarious. There's a bird. He's like, that looks like a tasty meal. Yeah, go down. I need my stuff. What? Okay, there we go. Stay away from the minefield. Stay away from... There's another one. Well, somebody else got it. At least it wasn't me this time. Okay, that's a lot farther out than I thought they were. That's a different kind of military base though than I'm used to. Excuses, excuses. There was no excuse for dying horribly like that. Let's just go straight home and not get distracted too much because, uh, yeah, that was pretty bad. <laughs> Twice in two days, guys. Oh my god. Twice in two days. The trap I can forgive myself for because I wasn't really expecting that. Although I guess I should have probably expected it. I just never have not fallen in a trap yet. Um, because I haven't really encountered any traps, right? So I'm like, okay. But uh, that one, there was no for, there was no forgiving that one. That was just bad. I wasn't really watching where I was going. I know it's not an excuse, but that is the truth. It is the truth. Let's hit it what we can here. I know there's a workbench inside the fire department, but... Not going in there. I should be marking stuff, I think. Oh, there, that's nice. Should be marking more things on the map. I know I should, but unless it's super important, I don't even bother. Because then at some point, um, I'll be like, oh, yeah, why did I mark that again? I know it's marked X whatever, but what was there? I have no idea.
Okay, let's get out of here. Not going through there. No, thank you. All right, what do we got in here? Nothing. Okay, so I got a couple of skill points that I spent last night. I just put one in Lucky Looter. Because uh, we definitely needed that. And then I put one... Where did I put the other one? I don't remember where I put the other one. Lucky Looter. Right? And... Where did I put it in? I have no idea. Put another point somewhere. Uh, lucky looter, because I figure we're since we're relooting all this stuff, we might get lucky and find something good. Like plastic polymers that we could probably use for nothing. And 12 feathers. Because that's important. Because we know we need feathers. Rare. Oh, oil. No, no, you stay away from me, man. You're the asshole that snuck up on me last time. Alright, well. Not looking forward to this run. The last thing you want to do is run through a desert with plant fiber clothes. Or run through a, sorry, frozen biome with plant fiber clothes. Well, we got a skull cap. Let's put that on. That's going to help. Not really anything. So we're going to go full scale run. See how long it goes. There's nowhere we can take shelter, really. I mean, we could stand under a tree, but I don't think that helps. I know you're tired. Just keep running. Just keep running. I'm gonna do this right now. Full speed run, man. We need to get out of here. Uh, as much as I want to hit up that thing to see if we can find more uh, honey. If we can pick up some wood that's free along the way, sure. Come on, don't be tired. You got this. I guess I shouldn't be punching it uses stamina. What's up, buddy? Yeah, I'm about to sprint away from you here. So uh, we'll see you next time. Okay, this is the road that leads right to our town. Oh, man. Do we have enough? We've got enough time today. Once we get home, uh, what we'll do is we'll... Uh, I shouldn't be doing this, but I'm going to... Nothing. Um... Once we get home today, we'll grab the bicycle uh, and we'll just head straight over. We'll, we'll, I mean, we'll dump off what we have in our backpack, but I don't think we really need that much. We got a shotgun on us. Uh, that should be more than enough to take care of whatever zombies are over there, just as long as we use it right away. Okay, there's our town. Welcome home. Welcome home. So the I've got the loot respawn set to 15 days. But you, but you can't be in the area for that to happen. So if you're going to loot, loot far away from your home. And then it'll respawn like this. So we might find a few things here on the way through town. I think we're pretty much okay though. There's a blueberry. Yummy. Uh, what do we got here? No. Yeah, see, these won't be respawned yet. Because we hit this up a few days ago. Well, seven days ago probably. Right? Yeah, it's still empty. Alright, so we're going to keep going to the house. Let's get our stuff there. Alright, let's get down. Ah, he's angry. Sorry, I'm not sticking around to face you, buddy. We're almost out of the cold here. We got a long bike ride. Well, not really that long. It's not that far away. I had to check. I checked the map out, and it wasn't too far away. Let's just get in this little warm patch over here. This actually works if you just like stand right here. 
Let's have a look at the map real quick. Uh, so it's not that far away from our house. We're right here. So we just need to kind of go across here. It's not that bad. Not warming up though. Normally you do. I guess we're just so damn cold it takes too long. But we're into the green biome now. There we go. Nice. There we go. Cooling off. Okay. Hit a few of these back on the way. Make up for some last time. Alright, I'm angry. What's up, guy? Oops. I shouldn't have done that. Nope, shouldn't have done that. Boys are back in town, baby. Boys back in town. Yeah, I think I mentioned this before. I like hitting these sticks because at a distance they look like zombies standing there. Alright, there's the house. My god! Looks pretty clear. Pick these up though. I want to give the zombies a clear line of sight to me here. So I've heard tell that the zombies kind of need to feel like they can get to you. Or else they'll just knock shit down. I don't know if that's true or not, but we'll find out. Okay, those can go in there. Now well, we got a good deal of eggs on the way back. Okay, those all go in there. That can go in there. That's good. 14. Uh, popping pills. Um, one glass jar. We're going to need the yucca. They're banging on a wall. They're banging on a wall. Dude, you know what happens to you when you bang on my fucking walls? Oh, how did you... must have spawned inside. You get the axe. Please tell me we don't have respawns. No, we don't have respawns, so what the hell? They must have spawn spawned inside the wall. Alright, well, we'll grab this stuff while we're out here. And then we can just get back up and empty up our backpack. Alright, gotta move this stuff over. So apparently, my street has got parking flip over at the end of the month. Apparently on Canada Day they're out ticketing cars. I'll be right back. Hey guys, welcome back to our house. So yeah, I lost po a whole like half of the day yesterday or more than like two-thirds of the day yesterday in the recording. Uh, I don't know what I did wrong but um, for some reason I never got a recording out of it. Um, it wasn't really that exciting. I mean we made our way back from the uh, desert home to here um, dropped everything off grabbed our bicycle rode out grabbed our stuff we did find a couple of things uh, in those chests that were out there so we managed to get a um, uh, reinforced handle for the uh, pickaxe which is great and then we found this um, uh, bow mod for our compound bow giving us more accuracy which is great and then, and then I laid down like once we came back I laid down some concrete around here not a whole lot but enough uh, just to get things started dug out a little bit of this figuring out where we're gonna put our platform and then uh, overnight I made a bunch of stuff here that we're going to be using um, so yeah oh yeah also I hit a lot of this boulder up to finish out the day which wasn't really all that exciting got a little bit of iron and stuff from it but you know not a whole lot and that was pretty much it so we are going to be working on this base today I want to get the ramp built um, as I said in the comments I'm not 100% sure this is gonna work so as long as the zombies think they can get to me 
then I think we'll be okay. But if they don't think they can get to me, they may just decide to try and tear this whole thing down. But we'll see how it goes. I mean, we're we're well poised to kill any zombies down here. Like, you, we can just look straight down on them, right? So I'm not that worried about it, but we'll have to see how it goes. So let's dig this out a bit here. It needs to be... I need to think that they can get to me. So there needs to be at least a two gap here. So they can jump over. So this will be the, the end of the ramp. Like right here. So let's get this dug out. Uh, do we dig it all the way? Um, yeah. Right? Like that. Okay, and then I want to have five. I think it's five. There's four. I want to have a, a um, top part or the ramp of, of being at least five high. And I think I calculated how many blocks I need for this. I'm hoping I have enough. Pretty sure I do. Okay, so there's that. And then we need to go out one more. Actually, no, we don't. Right? Um, so this is the end here. Right? So it's one, two, three, four, five. And then one. We need five more out from that for the ramp. So that's... Let me make sure I got this right here. Okay, this is going to be concreted. Okay, so the zombies will be right. That's two from the cage, which they think they can jump across. They can jump two. So there's the five that they're going to be coming down. Hope I got enough for this. I don't. I think I may have miscalculated because I didn't calculate the bottom row. I think I'm going to be short some. Although I did make a few extra blocks here. So I don't know if we'll have enough. Because this is going to be up five. And it's 20 per. Plus we did the base, so that's 120. At least they won't be knocking this down relatively easily. Okay, guys, there's level 60. And let's have a look what we can get with level 60. Because we've been waiting for this. So, um, there we go. We can make our AK-47 marksman, marksman rifle and an SMG here. So we're going to buy that. Save our other point. We'll have to have a look around see what we can get. Thought I heard something here. Okay. Let's see what we can get for that last point. I hope I did this right. Yeah, because they're going to think they can jump that and get me. They're going to be damaging that um, the iron bars here. So I'm going to have extra... Thought for sure I heard something that time. Going to have extra iron bars. Really hope they don't spawn on my walls. Um, gonna have extra iron bars on me. I'm gonna have lots of metal on me, so we should be able to repair as we're going. So I'm not worried about that. What I'm worried about is irradiated zombies and lots of cops, which I don't know if we'll get. Don't know if my game stage is high enough. Based on what I've seen other players do, um, I'm not anywhere near as good as them, so who knows. I have to say, from a builder game perspective, the sound of actually hammering down the concrete is so satisfying. Yeah, see, they're going to come along here, and they're going to be like, Rawr! Oh, shit, now I have to go around again. That's the goal. That is the goal. We'll see if it works, though. Okay. Now, we have enough ramps. I know that for a fact. Build these up first. This is going to be crazy ass big. But you know what? You only do this series once, so you might as well make it crazy ass big. Okay. And one, two, three. Let's dig this out. Okay. We're going to have lots of rebar to frame this with, I think. God, I gotta keep looking around. I keep thinking I hear a, like a moaner. 
Okay. This guy goes here. Oh, I missed one. How did I miss that guy? So one, two... Wait, one, two, three, four. We're missing one level up here. Right? Yeah, that's what we're doing here. Now, considering putting walls up on this and funneling them into the center here, and putting barbed wire on both sides of this to slow them down, I've seen that used pretty effectively. But I don't want to do the whole thing that way. So I might put angle blocks on the corners here to funnel them into the center, right down here. And then we'll have an angle block here to open it up on this side so they can accidentally fall off this way or whatever, right? Maybe, I don't know. Have to see how it goes. Thought that looked a little weird when I was doing that fake jump there. We might just have enough here. I did miscalculate though. I thought, oh, I need 156. But apparently it's a lot more than that. That's just for the ramp. Okay, and then we need to go down one more. Okay. And then we need to go here. Every little tiny noise has got me worried now that a wandering horde's going to come by and ruin all my work. Okay. We need to go make some more frames. And I think we need more concrete. No, we got lots. Okay, so the ramps, we have wet corners too already laid out from the cement mixer. So the ramps go here. Not there. One thing I like about using the rebar frames as opposed to making it out of the cement mixer, if you accidentally drop it down, can't pick it back up again. Okay, so there's the ramp. Let's get that filled in. Okay, and then we want to grab our corners. I learned this from watching a cage video. Put one there. And this is just to help them get back up. And then we'll put another one here. Like so. And then that way they can walk back up rather than getting stuck. As soon as they get stuck, they're going to start beating on shit, right? Right, and then I'll walk back up here and straight into my gunfire. I wish I, ha I wish you could make like, you know, LMGs and stuff or a heavy machine gun. You can set up right on a tripod and just mow them all down as soon as they show up here. Because that's exactly what I would do. But the other thing is too, is just get gun turrets and just stand back and <laughs> let the gun turrets handle them, but whatever. Okay, so we need to go make some more rebar. Uh, this is actually looking good. we got to fill this in over here. I think we're going to go out too. Because this is all going to be iron spikes along here. And along here. Iron spikes all down here. Keep hearing people. Zambonis. Now, I know we got a couple of visitors last night. I know there was a couple of screamers that came by. You could hear them dying. They all seem to be coming from the front now, which is good. I'm seriously considering making that drawbridge now, too. I had a look at the resource for it. It's pretty expensive to make a drawbridge, but it's actually not that bad when you consider. I don't have to do this every time. Although i got to figure out how wide it goes out. I don't know if it's three or four. If it's only three, um, we may want to make two. One for each side. Or we just reinforce these with all iron spikes and make it only three wide here. Don't know. We'll figure it out. It's not like they're actually coming in that way, so 
Okay, let's get some rebar frames going. Um, I don't know, how many do we need, do you think? Let's just make 80. We got enough for 80 here, concrete-wise. Sure. That should go pretty quick. Now, I did make... Yeah. Okay, how's this going? Pretty good. Pretty good. We should get some more wood for that. Let's put this in here. Don't need to, don't think we need to make that much more cement right now. Um, don't have that much more to go. Okay. Um, yeah, we don't need to get make much much more wood, but we have the ability to make AKs and stuff now. Um, AK-47, what do we need? 40 forged steel, mechanical parts, which we have. Duct tape, we easily, we, if we don't have, we can easily make it. Scrap polymers and springs, I know we have. So that's actually not that bad. Um, SMG, 30. So that's not that bad. That's easy enough to make. Um, marksman rifle is 50. I don't know, I'm thinking Marksman Rifle does more damage, I think. Yeah, there's another Screamer out there. Um, and they're dying on my thing. So Marksman Rifle actually can do it in here. Um, so the AK is doing 42 damage with a magazine size of 30. We're going to be putting in one of our modifiers. Um, so that'll be helpful. Effective range is 50, which is nice. Recoil of 5. And then we've got the Marksman Rifle, which does 50 damage. We're just doing more with a smaller magazine size. Um, I think I would rather go with the larger magazine size and less damage. So if we get someone that we need to pull down quickly, we can do that. I may, did make some more bullet tips and more um, casings so we can make some ammo here. Uh, in order to make the um, 7.62 ammo, it's going to take three gunpowder per. So it's way more expensive in ammo, but it's doing more damage. And then, um, yeah, so the SMG is only doing 26. But the ammo is way cheaper, right? Weapon handling is easier. Recoil 7. But I think we're going to go with the AK. I'm pretty sure that's, what, that's the route we're going to go. I think we'll make one of each. Um, just so we have them on them. The, S the SMG will be the backup weapon. Because um, we've got plenty of ammo here. I don't think we need to make any. I think we'll use all this to make um, 7.62 ammo. And I've been calling this 5.56N NATO ammo. But it's really it's really 9mm. Um, sorry, it goes back to my old days. But anyway. Uh, so yeah. Let's do this. Drop this clay soil in here. Don't need that. And are we done here? We are. So let's turn this off. And let's go back outside. Let's go back this way, though. I started reinforcing this floor, too. I don't know if we're ever going to need that, but at some point, this should all be concrete. But I don't know if that's going to happen. Somebody's on the front. Spikes. What is that? Oh, it's dogs. There you go. Kind of good thing we weren't outside when these guys showed up. Come get some spikes, guys. You're dead already. Over here. So that's three. I heard one other die. There's usually six of them, so one, two, three, four. Oh, one over here. Gotta give him some more arc. There we go. Over here, buddy. Right here. See me? Come and get me. Breakfast time. 
Who wants his dinner? There you go. So there's only one left somewhere. Thought I heard something. I got the background noise turned down, which is always like, I don't want it to be too loud for you guys, but it's been like making it really creepy for me. You hear these really distant moans and you don't know how close they are. Okay, well, so I want to make a walkway around here with um, with iron bars on this side so I don't fall down there. Well, I could do it with wood bars and have one more out this way. So I could step back from them if I needed to. Alright, let's get down here, dig this out. Put the frames in. Oh, we got an airdrop coming in, guys. Let's go hit that up today. Let's finish getting this put in though. Then we'll just zip over and see what's there. I'm really hoping for beakers. Really am. I'm so tired of not having beakers. I really want to make that chem station. But I guess if they just kind of made it super easy to get a chem station, then I mean you'd, ha you'd have bullets for years, right? I guess in a way it's kind of smart for them not, not to do that. Where's the motorbike? It's in the house. Damn it. Okay, so I think we're good here. How are we doing down here? I think we're okay there too. Hmm. Yeah, no. So there's been hardcore military choppers flying over. At least it sounds like military choppers. Could be completely wrong, but it's got that heavy thunder sound to him. It's kind of freaking me out a little bit. Okay, almost done here. Then we can go get that drop. I don't want this thing to collapse on me <laughs> after all that hard work. Okay, you can go there, there, there. Oh shit, did I really just do that? I really just did that. This thing hasn't set yet, so it's easier to break. Once it sets though, forget it. It's like 5,000 hit points once it sets or something. Yeah. I saw it right at the last second. And yeah, one more. If we can do more later, we will. But right now, that's probably good. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Because I'll be filling this with all spikes too. And that way, if we are up on the bridge or whatever, shooting down is a last resort before we retreat back into the house, then this will be able to take some damage. Plus it looks better. Most likely totally unnecessary, but whatever. All right, that is there. Still one dog roaming around, I think. He may have croaked. But I think he was probably in that house. If I had to guess. Does this respawn? Nope. Most likely won't, because where it's by us. Wonderful benefit of this. So they got no way to get in. I have no fa I have no idea how fast that drawbridge is either. Okay, let's grab our motorcycle. We're going to go get the drop. Hope for beakers. I don't think we're going to get it, but let's keep our fingers crossed. 
Okay, rebar can go in here. Concrete mix can go in here. Let's grab some more yucca. And some more bacon and eggs. We're running low, man. We're going to have to start getting some more done here. All right. Hammer can go back in here for now. Uh, yep, and our bike is where? Where we put our bike? Right here. Um, eh. How are you doing? Still going? Still going. Oh, that's interesting. I keep wanting to put a better door on there, but they're slower to open. So I'll save it to the end. Okay, frames can come out. Yeah, we picked up a few rebar rebar frames at um, in the chess at the uh, murder site that we died in. God, I love this motorcycle. Yeah, I'm kind of sad too because um, last episode we had some um, we had some people vaulted over our uh, motorbike or our bicycle, and I hit somebody last night with the bicycle. Where is it? I should look on the map, shouldn't I have? Map. How far down is it? Wow. Okay, it's outside of town. I think while we're going down this way, I think we're going to go to the desert and grab some more sand. I know it's boring, but it's kind of stuff that has to get done. We need more. We're going to need more concrete, most likely. Most likely, we should probably hit up some stumps too. On the way back, there's a stump and a deer. And our there we go. What do we got? Shit. Really? Did I see I saw I thought I saw a stump. Yeah. We need sand more than we need we need uh more than we need um honey right now. Ooh, what do we got here? Bit of concrete, bit of sand. Where are we on the map here? This is the northern part of the town? It is. Interesting. Now that I'm not afraid to actually uh, go through this area because we got the bike and nothing can catch us, let's take a wander. Okay, the fire hall. Hello. Hoping to find like a popping pills or something. I don't think we will in this place though. Let's speed it up a bit. That's a bird. A couple birds passing gas. Let's blow them away. See ya. There's a pawn shop, a big one. There's a dog. That's what I think of you guys. Hello. Okay, let's stop here for a second. Uh, no, let's not stop here. I was going to put market on the map, but I can do that later. What is this? City Hall? I think it is. Looks like City Hall to me. Town Hall, yeah. Missed me, special tots. Things are so much better when you have a motorcycle, man, I'm telling you. That's kind of why I like going up to Tech Tree first. Girls, it's mission to Zed. The booby trap. Fight the bears. Face the bears. Drink for free. Oh.
And, oh, you know what's coming. Come on. Three, two, one. Going in serious, guys. So these pawn shops right inside here, there's an alchemy still, which we are going to disassemble along with everybody else in here. Fuck it, let's wake them up. Wake up, guys. I am here for you. Couple of fast runners there, eh? Uh, double tap. The double tap. Gotta remember that. Oop. Oh, she was still alive. You bugger. I should have shot her again. The triple tap. There's the still. Game over. I don't think we're going to get beakers out of this, but I'm going to try. I know we'll get forged iron. Not that it matters, but... Come on, beakers. Nope. Hey, Mo. Oh, you want some of this too? Sure. I don't mind helping you out, buddy. Oh. Oh, it's another Mo. Did I kill your twin brother? Brother Mo and his other brother Mo. 25 paper. Any eggs? Well, yeah, we might, you know what? We might find pills in here. There's usually a dog in here. Yeah, there he is. Come on, open it up, guys. And a runner. Double tap. Triple tap. Oh, you're outside. Ooh, look at this. That opener locked. It's locked. Man. Better off staying down. Okay, guys. Let's break in here. here. Eh. Still worth coming in here. I think this is better than the bigger pawn shops because like, there's more loot in one located area. Once you've broken in, broken in here, um, it's no problem. We're going to have to get a steel pick here soon too. Steel axe. We, we have a steel fire axe, but I want to get a max level one. Come on. I think we'll have a quick look out front too, just to see if there's anything else we missed. Ok, 
Okay, what else we got here? Nothing. Sure, why not? Uh, I don't know why I'm picking this up. Oh, I got wood in my inventory. Never mind. I was like, if I don't have wood in my inventory, what's the point? Okay, we got a cooler up here. Ah, I got some meat. Uh, generator bank that's busted. Yeah. Okay, bullet tips. So I got a chest up here. I hear you out there. My stomach's rolling too, man. Sure, we gotta dump a lot of stuff in the bike here. Batter up and swing, batter. Okay, not so bad. Can you tell I can feel a little more confident now? We got the motorcycle in our gear here. Except for you! The fuck off me. It only does that because uh, I'm injured here. Come on, we can fit it all in. There we go. We're full. I just do. Did I just do that? I just did that. Oh my god. Oh my god, I just did that. Nothing like standing out here in a dangerous area and making errors. Alright, let's see what else we can find. I'd like to find another one of those. You always use cars. So if you need oil, we know where to go. Burger Giant. Dogos, no thank you. Hurry Harry's. Another drive through Burger Giant. Alright, grocery store. Burgers and fries. Are these pawn shops side by side? Or this? No. Couldn't get that lucky. Jim's cars. This is Shotgun Messiah building. Sure is. We're freezing. Let's get out of here. Back to the desert biome so we can overheat. 51% fuel. We've got lots of gas for today. I was just Starting to think we should be worried about gas, but we shouldn't be. There we go. Okay, this is waterworks, I think. Is it not? I don't know. Our old house is around here somewhere. Okay. Well, we need sand, so let's stop and get some in a relatively remote area. Let's see if we can find a place with a couple of cars that we can just break down at the same time. Is that a car over there? What is that? It is. There's a couple in the local area here. All right, well, we're going to get some sand here. Oh, it's getting late. Good thing we can get home fast. Let's strip this guy apart. Okay, now we're going to grab as much sand as we can in the next hour, and then we'll head back home. When we get home, uh, I think tomorrow's episode, we are going to um, focus on electronics. Because I think I want to try and get that generator bank up and running. I want to get some floodlights up and running. And if I can get... Uh, I don't know if we're going to have enough for it. But I want to try and get... Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, 
like electric fencing and stuff going. Or like electricity traps or whatever they are. We can make blade traps now too. So I want to get some of that going. I don't know if we're, how much materials we're going to have. I may have to go hunt for some more iron. Which we can get by hitting boulders. That's relatively simple. We'll get stone at the same time. He's not coming from the town, is he? Is he mad I ran, ran him over? Probably mad I ran him over. Ah, too bad. Standing in the middle of the road when a biker's coming through, you deserve to get run over. How much do we have? 749. You'd think I'd have a lot more than that by now. 14. I know we're staying past when I said we would go. Alright, let's head out. Shotgun up. Make sure we're reloaded. Don't fall in the hole. <laughs> oh well. Whatever. Let's speed this thing up. Let's see how many zombies we can hit in the ba way back. Let's get a count going. Okay, here's our first candidate. And... Ah, half-assed. Here's number two. We gotta, we're we going to circle around and come back and get him. I don't want him to feel like he's been left out. Where are you? There you are. Okay, he didn't get a fair shake. That wasn't a fair shake. I'm coming back to give you another chance. Get ready. Get ready with your acrobatics. Where are you? There you are. Ah, well, you don't get another chance. There's number three up here. Another lumberjack. Ooh, okay, he's so far the leader. Number four over here. Oh, not bad. Almost as good as the last one. I heard somebody, but I didn't see him. Another scream, I didn't see him. They're probably angry they're feeling left out. They're like, dude, I'm right here. I'm trying to keep my eyes open for you, though. You're not in my path. There's no guarantee I'm going to see you. We've got four so far. Come on, give me one more. I want to see someone vault. Oh, I'm not going up there to get that guy. That would have been a nice jump, though, but we would have got stuck in there for sure. Well, we got four. Next time we go back out, we'll try to get a lot more. And yeah, I think I want to put that drawbridge in. Oh, got to stop doing that. Push and hold. Okay, grab as much as we can. Be back for you in a second. So, our speed isn't that much... Like, it's slowed down, but not really ridiculously slowed because we've got uh, Pack Mule on now. Or at least it's raised up, so it's not affecting it as much. Because we've got another thousand, so that's not too bad. Some stone. Let's drop in all of the foodstuffs, which we don't really need, but seem to be collecting a lot of and then let's go get the rest of the stuff down there now we don't really have a place to throw molotovs unfortunately except for on the pathway so we might Ooh, good thing I picked that up first before I attacked we might go ahead and um, there we go come out on the pathway depending on how we're doing we might just come out and throw some Molotovs down on them on the back entranceway to the uh, thing there, the tower. All right, let's throw those in there. And let's sort this stuff out. Um, what else do we got? Tin cans. I don't know why I'm holding on to those. We can make oil cans out of them, but I don't think we'll ever do that. Gasoline. Gonna need to refill the bike, which I'll probably do, so let's leave that out. You can see we should probably plant that. Put that in there. And got the ability to make a ton a crap ton of water too. Steel plating schematic. Plastic plating schematic. Uh weighted head. Wood splitter. We got so much of this stuff now. 
and then stuff for sale can go in here right and then our ammo can go in there this stuff can go in here we can make a ton of shotgun ammo now if we want we got so much paper and then iron can go in here we can always melt this down iron down too if we need to so all right guys i am going to leave the episode there i hope you enjoyed it um in the evening i'll be making some more yucca some more uh, bacon and eggs and stuff so we'll have extra food i might actually make the bigger meals we now that we got potatoes and stuff and mushrooms we can make some uh, i can't remember what it was some stew um so i may make a few of those and some more bacon and eggs so i'm gonna do that overnight um yeah we'll leave the episode there i hope you enjoyed it if you did drop a like if you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe you can drop any comments or questions in the comment section down below until next time we'll see you later